You never know what you might find hidden under a dustbin lid at ZSL London Zoo. We met with Dave Clark, the chap in charge of the bug section, who reveals four very important individuals of the animal kingdom. This is our colony of red barbed wood ants, uh, which are part of a conservation project to rear some animals in captivity for reintroductions to the wild. The colony comprises four females, and they may just be the key to saving the species from the brink of extinction. Due to a loss of suitable heathland habitat, the ant faces a bleak future, and it has been restricted to just two sites in mainland Britain and a mere handful of sites in the Isles of Scilly. The two populations in the UK, are, also mainland UK, are so small and fragmented that uh, it's unlikely they'd be able to survive on their own. So we are assisting them in translocating animals from the Isles of Scilly. Some of those will be reared to larger colonies in captivity here at London Zoo and then put back into the wild in suitable locations. Habitat restoration projects have provided suitable places for the ant to be reintroduced, but not before the females have had time to raise their young in a clever, purpose-built environment at ZSL London Zoo. They're kept on a moat in containers uh, so they don't get out, is the main thing. Uh, first part is the sort of nest chamber where they are currently holding their eggs and larvae and some pupae now. Uh, and then there's another chamber where we're putting their food and they have a dish of cotton wool which is soaked in nectar solution uh, which gives them most of their nutrition. We also add in uh, larvae of other insects and uh, pupae of meadow ants for them to feed. The brick is sitting in a, a bath of water. This is a brick that uh, capillarizes water up so they can drink from the bottom of the container as well and it helps maintain the localised humidity. It's hoped soon that the females will be joined by more from the Isles of Scilly, where colleague Matt Robertson is searching for the heroines of the species. This project is being done in collaboration with Natural England and other uh, bodies like Hymetus and the Surrey Wildlife Trust.